All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the second video. So, unlike what I said in the first video, the second video was probably going to be me wearing plaid and talking about something. The second video is obviously not about that. I'm still wearing the same blue Under Armour sweatshirt that you saw in the first one. But I once again want everybody to understand that, um, yeah, my views have definitely changed almost each and every day or almost each and every, like, you know, month to year. I don't fully know the time why. But I can rest assure you, my views have changed. Jesus saved me. So please, get over yourself if you're thinking about, you know, not just with myself or anybody else, going back into our archives from 2015, 2012, or whatever else to use, use something against us now. Rest assure you, if you do that, you're proving one thing. You're proving you're a snake. You're proving that you're, you could even say a devil. You're proving that you're doing the, the, the devil's deeds. And I can rest assure you that you're just not doing what Christ wants you to do. Christ does not want you to be stuck in the negative past of, of the ways you used to be. Now, that it does not mean you can't bring up some of those things to continuously give testimonies about where you've been and learn, build, and grow into your best self through the Lord. That's not saying that you can't do that. But it is to say, don't do what the, they, they tried to do with Kyler Murray and even Josh Allen and other people, I mean the quarterback for the Bills as well. What they've done for to a lot of people trying to take their comments from way back when and you know and and such and be like, hey, let's shun them now. Like, fam, that was five years ago. That was two years ago. That was seven years ago. That was a decade or two ago. Can you not get over yourself? I'm telling you this. If you literally live your life to do that stuff, I want to say you have no soul. But that's just my opinion. Nobody has to agree with me on that. Because I mean it when I tell you this, that my views have changed on some things from the last, you know, five years plus. And once again, that is a message to all my Valerie's kids for the fact of being when I was your age in the middle school, I had some, you know, views that were pretty much trained on me from how I was raised at times. Or from the world around me, from how I guess you could say I view society at a very young and still immature age. So I can assure you, if you go back into some of my Twitters, you know, you're going to see some of that stuff possibly. Or if you go back into some of this YouTube, you might see some of that stuff. That stuff might even be from the past two years. But I can rest assure you that once again, overall, I am saved. I am born again. Christ loves me. Christ loves everybody. And he wants us all to learn, build, and grow in his name to our Jesus Christ salvation better tomorrow. If you don't believe in that or if you... Um, try to take, you know, you still try to go back in people's past and take things left to try to shun them and shame them, etc., etc. Then you just might be a devil, a snake, and so many other things I can possibly name there. But the, one of the biggest points I want everybody to understand is that, um, once again, the With a Purpose music video is definitely one of those music videos that I'm telling. I got a lot of songs on this channel. And Refocus Records is my independent record label. And I can rest assure you that when it comes to that, you can also go look up the Refocus Records um, YouTube channel. If this video, it depends on when this, this this video posts, because if this video posts before I post any songs on there, you might it might, it might say no content. But um, Refocus Records, um, the songs titled Born Again and Set Yourself Apart are two songs that are going to be posted on um, that YouTube, YouTube channel to go ahead and open up um, the channel as you could say open for business now because um, I rest assure you that um, Say yourself apart say yourself apart and born again once again. they obviously are biblical and spiritual You know meanings definitions, etc. And I want everybody to understand when it comes to that stuff Like I say we all know my religious faith and if you don't know I want to say now you know, but if you don't know go up and down this YouTube channel because you can find it up and down the YouTube channel, up and down the YouTube channel, my Twitter, Snapchat, etc. You can find it. I'm religious. I have a religious heart. Through Christ, which was strengthens me, I have a religious heart. And I want everybody to understand the fact being with um, with a purpose, it's going to be a music video with me, predominantly with this bot bag that my phone is right now leveled on. It's going to be a, a music video of me showing off some of my, I want to say my old-fashioned WWE skills. And what I mean about that is, when I got this bot bag, it was when I was still heavy into WWE. Um, like a lot of kids, elementary, middle school, I grew up watching WWE. Um, I can't fully tell you all my favorite superstars, but a few favorite superstars were guys like Shelton Benjamin. Um, I want to say Kofi Kingston. I want to say a little bit of John Cena. 
Um, but for the most part, actually, my number one favorite superstar was actually Triple H. I don't know why. He just was. Um, I think because I, 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 I liked it when he spit the water out of his mouth with his ring entrance. I think that's why he was my favorite. I liked it when he spit the water out, out with, his, his, with his ring entrance. I'm not even joking. I feel like I, I was copying that. I swear to Jesus, I was copying that all the time. You know, I used to get water in my own self and then just spit it out like that. and be like, yeah. But, yeah, I got a little WWE background my own self. Um, like I said, for the most part, I had a blessed childhood for the most part. Had a, It's ups and downs, but for the most part, I, have, I had a blessed childhood. But um, I want everybody to as well understand that, yeah, when I say my, some of my WWE moves, like, for example, particularly if you've watched Daniel Bryan wrestle, you know exactly how he kind of wrestles with kicks and punches or predominantly kicks. You're going to see some of... I think, I guess, if I've copied it well enough in my mind, you're going to see some of that within this routine. So it's not to say I'm a mixed martial artist because I'm absolutely not a mixed martial artist. But it is to say that with some of these moves, you're, you're going to see, you know, hey, Nate can do this, Nate can do that when it comes to, I guess you could say, fighting or when it comes to protecting himself. I really don't know which phrase you can put there. But I can definitely say that I like I got some, some some fighting skills or I got some combat skills is a better way of saying it. And it's not to say that I'm ever endorsing either one of those things because I'm not endorsing fist fighting and anything, anything else like that. I'm not endorsing any of that. But it is to, to like show you this is how I can train, this is how I can do things, and etc. When it comes to combat, you know, and so and so forth and so forth. I mean, trust me, I was practicing on this stuff when I was definitely a a a a, a, a little one myself. But um. Now I, I still got some of the same skills in my mind, and I'm gonna pro, you know perfect them in this uh, music video. But that's one of the things that with the purpose is about. Uh, you know, it's supposed to be a, a a music video showing you me training with a purpose. If you don't, if you can understand that, <sighs> forgive me. The with a purpose music video is predominantly supposed to be a music video showing me training with a purpose. It was supposed to be a bunch of you know, clips of me training in various different spots with bot bag, with NGM stuff, rope stuff, lifting weights. But majority of it is probably just going to be, at least for the first solo music video, it's just going to be me on this bot bag punching and kicking and showing you all I got some stuff. So, we're, you know, we're going to see how that goes. I got a lot more songs that I got to make into music videos because, ladies and gentlemen, don't ever think that when it comes to releasing music that I don't ever think about releasing music videos with them. I do. It's just, like I say, it takes time to plan things out, to call people up, or to even figure, figure out whether you're going to need a team for it and stuff like that. And it all depends on what, as an artist, you know, fits you with your comfort zone at times. And I've just been trying to maneuver through that as safely and as cordial as I possibly can. So we'll see. But once again, this is one of my two bedrooms. Um, the first one is the one that I film most of these videos in. This is the other one. Um, so you did, that's why you're seeing some stuff right there. You're seeing that window right there. You're, well, you can't really see everything that's right here, but you see what you see that you don't see in other videos for the most part. And um, let's assure you, like I said, it's all love, ladies and gentlemen. It's all blessings. I hope you enjoy the With the Purpose music video. Um, when I officially film it um, in my plaid shirt, or at least when I film the introduction to it in my plaid shirt, I'm going to give a big introduction or a big announcement or a big, uh, what's it called? I want to say motivational speech to all my Valley Bridge kids and all my niece Panthers. With again, we're in March, and what the further advancement of my life and my career, I do believe, has in store for me for the rest of 2019. Because I meant it when I said that 2019, I feel like a lot of advancements were going to come for me in life and in music and in my brand itself. I meant it when I said I wanted to expand youth groups. I meant it when I said I wanted to go out there and pastor people. I meant it when I said I wanted to go out there and just, you know, build and grow and expand my brand, my livelihood, my, um, you could say my IQ, you know, my, uh, my ventures, my sights, my smells. You get the point. Just go out there and live life. Predominantly live godly life. I meant it when I said I wanted to go out there and do all that stuff. But again, it takes time and it takes preparation. And it all depends on what works best for you at the end of the day. But I must say with, uh, now I mentioned this video, one thing, God bless to all my these Panthers that I went to school with last year who were freshmen and now are sophomores, I've definitely seen some of you 
um, within like the past year or two, you definitely, or actually would not the past year or two, within this year that I am not there because I graduated May 24th of last year as a fifth year senior. Um, I saw, I've seen a few of you around town and I've seen how a lot of you have grown over the, over the year. Like some of you look like actual kids, you know, um, last year. Now some of you look like almost grown-ups, you know, now at 15 or 16, you know, almost 17 years old. So congratulations to all of you because once again, being there for everybody's further health, wealth, growth, and development predominantly for my um, younglings at Valley Ridge is one of the top reasons why I do what I do. That's one of the top reasons why I go out to your games and I cheer you on, hype man cheer you on, because I want to be there for you. Jesus Christ salvation above everything. I want to, you know, see you all learn, build, grow, and develop into your best self through the Lord, which strengthens you. And I want to see how things go. I want to see how you elevate. I want to see all this beauty, all this, all the gifts, the craft, you get the point. And definitely to have went to school with the class that I went to school last year, uh, with the freshman class was 2021. Um, but yeah, to um, have went to school with that class that I went to school last year with, it was quite amazing to go to school with that class last year and just see how everything was. You know, a lot of, like I said, a lot of y'all look like kids last year. Now you look, well, some of y'all look, look like almost halfway full grown people. And it's, again, it's a blessing how God works, how timing works, how miracles work. And like they say, how usually time fixes all, you know. It, you know, And I'm not joking. I'm absolutely not joking with that. But once again, for all my Valley Ridge kids, that's why if you didn't look at my Snapchat um, for the last uh, couple of days, I literally posted that. Once again, I, I really want to be there for all the youth, period. Not just for Valley Ridge, but for all the youth, period. But I can rest assure you that being a part of that further growth and development in Christ's name is what I want to be for all you young children because I'm telling you, I see it within you. I see the talent, the wisdom, the charm, the potential, the execution, the dedication, the wild imagination, so forth and so forth. I see it all and I just want to continue to keep you know, learning, building, and growing growing with you all, nurturing you all to your Jesus Christ salvation better tomorrow through Christ, which strengthens us all. Hope you understood the last two words. I said through Christ, which strengthens us all. And uh, 12 minutes into this video. So I really don't know what else to talk about other than the fact is this is once again one of my other other bedrooms. This is the video. This is the um, bedroom that I would probably be filming the music video and I gotta cl clean it up a little bit, move some furniture around and see what I can do. But for the most part, with the purpose is a music video that's supposed to be uh, filmed with me training, um, showing you how I train, my combat skills, how I can punch, I can kick, I can you know do some things, you know, and so forth and so forth. Almost like my lethal weapon song, honestly, show you how. I'm a lethal weapon and such like that, you know, at times when I want to be, especially when I'm angry. I mean, I, I got like the strength of 10 men at times, but I just want to show you some of my combat skills, per se, you could also say. But um, for the most part, ladies and gentlemen, once again, and anybody who once again does not know my age, it's 20 years old, born in 1998. Uh, 20 years old. Um, again, I love life. I love God. I love faith. I love Jesus. I love religion. I love everybody and I want you all to understand that like I said, I'm a big brother to the youth which is one of the top reasons why I know all the children that I do know um, at Valley at Nice still you know that I predominantly went to school with last year but still you know I, I signed my IEP um, as a 19 year old uh, because uh, actually not a 19 year old right I think it was an 18 year old it was one of those two right no 18 year old forgive me I signed my IEP as an 18 year old guaranteeing I would at least have um, until I was 22, if I'm not mistaken, um, to graduate, but it only took me one extra year all by God's glory and grace. I feel like that was God's plan for me, honestly. But it was either, they, they told me it was either you sign the IEP and have your rights reserved to stay here for a couple extra, you know, years, you know, if need be, or you invest in adult education. And I wanted to be there to mentor the next generation. I don't know how many fifth year seniors will ever tell you that they wanted to be there to mentor the next generation but my heart and my love and my passion and commitment for the children and for the for the advancement of nice and Sanders county school district was like that i wanted to be there for the next generation i wanted one to be there for the kids i wanted to get at least one more good year in there as a school student mentoring everybody and seeing what we could you know seeing what we could do in christ's name 
for everybody for the health, wealth, growth, and development. So I signed the IEP. I was there for the class of 2021. I'm so very sorry that I'm not there for the class of 2022. But again, all glory be to God for better and for Hopefully, I'm there uh, next year for the class of 2023. Uh, and hopefully, somewhere within the last three months or last two months, I will make a surprise visit as, a, again, a volunteer. And we'll see.